What is up, guys? You are very welcome along to this late night agenda news roundup video. I waited till this late because I wanted the Carabao Cup to have taken place. And I wanted to see if I had any information around the Liverpool ownership situation. Thankfully, I think I can shed a little bit of light on both of those two subjects. And you know the drill by now. Do let me know your thoughts about the draw and about the ownership situation in the comment section. Drop a like on the video and please do hit that subscribe button for me. Let me first of all say thank you to Dion Dublin for that draw, Dion. Thank you very much. Drawing us away to Manchester City, if you haven't seen. Definitely the standout tie of the last 16 of the League Cup. Um, other fixtures of note off the top of my head. United were drawn at home to Burnley. Uh, and the rest of it was kind of meh games after that it is definitely manchester city liverpool that is the standout tie it will be at the etihad and i will go as far as to say i think that the winner of this game will probably go on to lift the trophy it's going to be interesting it's going to be maybe a little bit intriguing to see what way both managers go about this with regards to team selections and stuff like that how strong will they go I don't know, but it's another game that we can look forward to and another game between two of the biggest hitters in the Premier League over the last few years. So bring it on and we'll wait and see what happens. So yeah, just to confirm, Liverpool have been drawn away to play Manchester City in the last 16 of the League Cup. I would go as far as to say I don't expect the same lineup that Klopp put out last night to play at the Etihad, but you know we'll wait and see. So now look, to move on to the bigger subject right now, which is the ownership situation at Liverpool Football Club. There was something posted today. Um, the guys at Transfer Room posted it, and I think they've credited the Echo as one of the sources of this story, or certainly where they, they read the story. And it says, Liverpool owner John W. Henry has been linked to a potential move for the NFL side, the Washington Commanders. Now, that club is up for sale because of I think some pressure from within the NFL for the ownership group to sell. But what makes it so intriguing, of course, is that we may see this sale of Liverpool push along a little bit quicker now because the NFL, for those of you who aren't aware, if you own the NFL club, an NFL club in the States, it is basically almost like a knighthood. It is their crown jewels in their sporting ownership. And FSG have... Well, they've got many things in their portfolio. They've got a baseball team. They've got an ice hockey team. They are looking at a basketball team, potentially with LeBron James down the line, but they don't have an NFL team. And NFL teams go for a lot of money for a few reasons. They're cash cows. They have obviously no relegation. They have salary caps. They get crazy television revenue. So they're very attractive to owners and being an American, I'm sure that John W. Henry and FSG would be interested in trying to acquire um, the Washington Commanders. So if that is the case, then we may see the sale of Liverpool move a little bit quicker than some of us initially thought. Now, I'm not saying this will be tied up in a week or two, but if this is true, maybe we'll see uh, We'll see them start listening to, to offers. Now, who has put in an offer for Liverpool is open to interpretation about who you believe or what you've read. My own take on it is I'm happy that they're looking to sell. I'm intrigued as to new owners coming in. But like everybody else, I'm waiting to see exactly who throws their hat in the ring. So we know that a sales proposal package has been put together and potential investors or potential buyers to the club are or have been looking over these for the last, I think I read last month this was released, this, this sales pack. So let's wait and see who comes forward. What we do know is it won't be the guy that looks to buy Chelsea. Uh, I can't even remember his name at the moment. The guy who the Chelsea fans didn't want buying the club because the Ricketts family. Yes, that's who it is. So it won't be the Ricketts family. They've pulled their name out. It won't be Sir Jim Radcliffe who's confirmed that his intention is to continue to progress and push forward with Nice. There was, of course, some talk that maybe Jerry Cardinal will look to to take complete ownership of Liverpool after, of course, his company buying an 11%, I think it was, stake in all of FSG's holdings. Well, that isn't going to happen either because he, of course, is part of an ownership group that owns the AC Milan side in Italy and they're going to be putting a lot of money into pushing Milan on and developing and building a new stadium. So I guess it's who is it going to be? There's been some suggestions that maybe... um. Is it DIC, so Divine Investment Capital, I think it is. 
have been linked with Liverpool. Um, I believe that the prince or the crown prince of Dubai is genuinely a Liverpool fan. Sported them since he was in college. Other than that, I don't know. Obviously, there would be a lot of money available there. Um, you've got a couple of other multi-billionaires across the world whose names have been mentioned. An Indian gentleman who's worth, I think, 100 billion's name was thrown about. But ultimately, I don't know at this moment in time who was going to buy Liverpool Football Club. But I would, in an idealistic world, like it to be an owner that I could, I could get behind. An owner that I could support wholeheartedly and not one that I've got reservations about or one that I'm unhappy about where the source of that owner's money came from. Now, I'm not naive enough to know that we don't need to have a lot of money to compete these days in the Premier League. But I don't want us to be a country's PR machine. I don't want Liverpool to be used in any form of sports washing or anything like that. But I, this is just my opinion. So, I know Jurgen Klopp has spoken and said that as far as he's aware, they're looking for investment and it might not be a sale. I think it will be a full sale from FSG. And the numbers being mentioned and thrown about seem to be any offers in excess of £3 billion would be in the ballpark that FSG would be willing to sit down and listen to offers of. So let's wait and see how it unfolds. It is very exciting, but I also have to admit to being a little bit anxious about who throws their hat in the ring. But I tell you one thing I genuinely do believe for all of FSG's faults and there have been many they've also done many good things but i do think that they will understand their role as custodians of the football club and i know people are going to say to me craig you're being naive here but i think they will look to and trust the club to yes somebody who matches their valuation and somebody with deep pockets but i don't think they would just sell it to anybody i don't i really don't i think they will look for an owner that they believe will carry on their work and will carry on trying to put Liverpool and keep Liverpool at the very top of world football. Make no mistake, we are a very valuable asset. We are a very attractive football club for a whole host of reasons. And I know from reading up on many American articles, there are American businessmen who believe that European football clubs and the Premier League in particular have plenty of scope left to be monetized. They don't feel like the true value of football clubs have been achieved. So if you look at the revenue raising as an example that takes place in the NFL, you know, you've already seen Todd Bowley come in and speak about some things that he thinks could be done to increase revenues in the Premier League. And I'm all for the clubs increasing revenue streams, and I'm not naive enough to not believe that, you know, maybe things are going to get a bit more expensive and stuff. But for me, I would take that every day of the week over selling our souls to somebody who has a questionable moral background, somebody who is only buying the club to to use us for sports washing. I can't get away from this term, but it's the one thing that I really do not want to happen for Liverpool Football Club. So let's wait and see who comes forward. But I do think we will be getting full new owners. I'm not expecting it to be an investment. I think it's not surprising to see that they have been linked to the Washington Commanders FSG because, as I said, they're Americans. It's a big American club and a club that they probably feel that they can add value to. So let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comment section. I know it's divided opinion between our fan bases a lot. Um, some people say you need to be backed by a state-backed fund to be able to compete with a PSG, uh, Newcastle, a Manchester City or whatever. For me, look, I might be a bit of an idealist, but it's been difficult to stay attached to football over the last 15 years as it's moved kind of away from its working class roots into more of an entertainment big business thing but i would still like there to be some morality attached to liverpool football club so fingers crossed from that regard but look as always i look forward to reading your comments i thank you for your time and again just to confirm liverpool have been drawn away to play manchester city in the last 16 of the league cup talk to you soon Bye bye